this one. On the F divergences between hyperboloid and Poincaré distributions, please. Okay, so f first I would like to, to thank uh, uh, Koichi Tojo for having swapped with me not to have three uh, talks in a row. And uh, I think uh, uh, Tojo explained a lot about uh, the Poincaré distribution as a background, so uh, I will be able to, to proceed very smoothly. Uh, initially, my, uh, my co for uh, Professor uh, Okamura, Kazuki Okamura, uh, was intending to come, but he couldn't make it uh, uh, for some reasons, and uh, he, he was uh, kind enough to, to prepare a few slides. So it's just 10 slides. Um, but I think it highlights two, 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 two nice concepts. And uh, uh, one of the concepts is very general and not uh, can be applied in, uh, in many different settings. It's the concept of maximal invariant. And I think it's very powerful, and it has been underrated in, uh, in machine learning and statistics. So uh, we will see how to use it in this uh, framework here. OK, uh, to give a, a little bit of uh, background, uh, wh what we would like to do is to do statistical analysis where the sample space is hyperbolic, like, uh, let's say, the hy hyperbolic uh, disk or upper plane. And the reason for that is that in machine learning, there's a lot of uh, works now. It's a hot topic to try to embed uh, discrete structures, discrete graph structures, weighted graph structures, into uh, continuous spaces so that you can apply uh, down downstream tasks uh, like uh, deep learning uh, things. And these have been called uh, hyperbolic embeddings because in hyperbolic geometry, uh, there's a proof that you can embed uh, with a low distortion uh, uh, any, any uh, tree uh, into hyperbolic space with one plus epsilon for any epsilon uh, uh, precision. Uh, resolution. So it, uh, it has been uh, the theorem uh, by Sarkar uh, in uh, 2012. And uh, once we have embedded discrete graph into a hyperbolic uh, geometry, let's say the uh, upper plane, uh, then what we would like to do is we have data sets living, uh, data sets of points uh, living in uh, the upper plane, and we would like to do uh, the same kind of statistical analysis as we do in Euclidean uh, space, like uh, how, how to learn mixtures, how to cluster, how to make hypothesis testing, and so forth. And, and to do that, we need an, a good uh, notion of uh, distances between the distributions that we will learn of the, on the point sets. Um, so if we look at the literature of uh, probability, uh, parametric probability distributions that have been uh, defined on, uh, on hyperbolic geometry, uh, we can find that in the 80s, uh, there are some papers who consider the hyperbolic model, which is also called, the Minkowski, in that case, the Minkowski space. And, uh, and this paper was uh, basically an analogy of the von Mises Fisher distribution of the sphere, but for the hyperbolic mo model of hyperbolic geometry. And um, uh, Frederic Barnaresco in 2019 also defined uh, w w what is called the Surya Gibbs distribution on the Poincaré disk. Uh, using this method of uh, invariant, and where you have the Fisher information metric that coincides with the uh, Poincaré hyperbolic Riemannian metric for that family of distribution. Uh, so, in the work of uh, Tojo and Yoshino in 2000, uh, they, they propose uh, this kind of uh, free parameter distribution on uh, the upper plane, where you have uh, free parameters that can be also recasted as a two by two positive uh, definite matrix living on, on, the two, on, on the code. And uh, you can write uh, the PDF even with the matrix parameter or with a triple uh, vector, okay? And uh, this is the density that has been shown uh, formerly. And they also, uh, in this uh, session, uh, presented the QD from Poincaré distribution as well, okay? So uh, we are interested in analyzing what will be the F divergence between two uh, parametric hyperbolic distribution and we are going to investigate two families. So in general, uh, we will stay in the 2D uh, hyperbolic uh, uh, plane. So we have x, y living in hyperbolic space. And in that case, the uh, f divergence for a convex generator f just writes as a p f of q over p as, as usual, but with x, y. So one of the first uh, theorems that we have is that uh, the f divergence between two point area distributions, so remember that the parameter theta and theta prime uh, are 3D, or uh, two by two uh, SPD matrix, uh, every f divergence, or any f divergence that you may imagine, uh, can be written as a, a function of uh, three terms, and the terms are the determinant 
of uh, the matrix for theta of the matrix for theta prime or the trace of uh, matrix um, inverse of the matrix. And uh, the, way, the way that we can prove such a theorem is by showing that uh, first, the F divergence is invariant by the action of uh, SL2R, uh, so that we have, uh, okay, we have this invariance here, okay? And then we show that every action invariant function on, on the upper plane is a function of those three terms by the framework of maximal invariant of the action. So the notion of maximal invariant is something that is working uh, for, for any group action. And it has been applied in statistics uh, by, uh, by Eaton. Uh, there's a book uh, also that uh, considers transformation models in, in statistics. <coughs> the idea is very simple and it's also summarized here. So we take a function f and we will say that the function is invariant under the group action uh, by j if we have f j x equal f of x. So, so far, uh, no, no surprise, it's just the notion of invariance. So now, if I, if I look at the orbit uh, of the f value from, for, for the group action g, I will have, uh, I, I will, uh, I will, uh, uh, I will uh, partition my space into orbits. And if all, orb if all orbits uh, have different values, then I will say that it is a maximum invariant, okay? And, and, the, and, the key, and the key theorem of Eaton with a short proof, half a page proof, is to show that any invariant function is a function of a maximal invariant. So let's say that you, you have a difficult problem and you know that it is invariant to some action, and then you have an easier problem where we, what you, uh, that you can solve but is uh, maximal invariant, then you know that your difficult problem is a function of the easy solution that you get. Okay, so it's very powerful methods because you don't have to look at the geometry of things like that. It's really um, algebraic uh, uh, proof that lets you write uh, f of x as a, a function of the maximal invariant. Okay. So, uh, for example, if we take the Poincaré distribution defined by uh, Tojo and Yoshino, uh, and we take the Kullback library between two such uh, things, we will find that uh, uh, the Kullback library can be expressed like that. And uh, you will find terms here, uh, uh, which are uh, uh, canonical uh, terms, uh, the free, the free uh, uh, terms that make the maximum invariant of uh, the SL2R uh, action, group action. If you take the square Hellinger, which is an F diversion for this generator, you will find uh, this expression here. And so this, this can be also written uh, somehow uh, as, as a function of those free terms. So in, in the sense that if you rewrite this, F divergence, you will also find that it is, uh, this can be expressed as a function of uh, those three elementary terms. And if you take the chi-square, the Neman chi-square uh, F divergence, uh, you will find this thing, okay? Um, now I want to, uh, to, to introduce another kind of distribution. This time I will take the hyperboloid model of a, a hyperbolic geometry, not uh, the point carré, uh, uh, not the point carré upper plane. And uh, this has been uh, studied in uh, the late 80s and uh, 90s uh, by Baron, Nifsels, and uh, Jensen. And uh, we consider the, uh, this uh, Lobachevsky space. We take this inner product, which we call the Minkowski inner product, where here you, you have a signature of, uh, uh, of your inner product. And we define the parameter space like that for the PDF like that. Okay, so this is, uh, if you look at this paper, you, you will get such a thing. And we are going to introduce a notation x tilde to be this lifting. Okay, we have x1, x2, and we and we put on, uh, on the hyperbolic sheet. Okay, and we have uh, we take uh, this uh, absolute value notation to be the square root of the Minkowski inner product. So now this is the second theorem that we obtain in the paper. We we say that the f diversion between two such hyperbolic distributions, the total problem, can be expressed as a canonical uh, as a function of three terms three canonical terms, which are Minkowski inner product of uh, the pairwise uh, parameters, okay? And in the paper, you can show also that uh, this divergence between hyperbolic distribution can be explained with uh, uh, a notion of side angle side theorem. So in Euclidean geometry, if you want to check whether two triangles are congruent, you can check that all edges length are the same and all interior angles are the same, but it's only enough to consider one vertex and two, two edges and the interior angle. And 
why is it enough? It's because of the SIS or side angles, uh, side theorem. And in this theorem, you have extension into hyperbolic geometry. And here, it pops up as a divergence somehow by taking uh, this origin here. Okay, so this is going to be congruent in hyperbolic geometry. And this is also uh, e explaining uh, uh, this theorem. So to get, uh, again, some uh, explicit uh, formula for F divergence between two hyperbolic distribution, we will get it for uh, the Kullback library, square Linger and uh, chi square as before. And we will see that we can express it as claimed by the three canonical terms. So uh, last, there's a, there's a correspondence between the Poincaré distribution and the hyperbolic distribution. Uh, this is a correspondence that uh, you can uh, highlight. And for this map, <coughs> you can rewrite uh, the, uh, uh, the, the square of uh, the Minkowski linear product as this, okay? And then for every f uh, divergence and a every two distribution uh, with parameter theta, theta, theta prime in the Poincaré uh, in, in the Poincaré uh, distribution or the Poincaré coupling, you will have the f divergence which is equivalent to uh, the f divergence between two hyperbolic distribution with those equivalent parameters. So there's a, a co nice correspondence between uh, those two families who are defined on different models of hyperbolic geometry. So this is just uh, some uh, references to, to conclude. And uh, if you have any questions, I will be happy to answer. Thank you. Thank you. So we have plenty of time for questions. If there is one. Uh, we are, we, we're almost ahead of time now. Yeah, it's good. Th which is good. <laughs> we, we recovered.